Empire of Japan. After opening its doors, a push for cultural transformation brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. One man. The turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary story. <sighs> Episode 1 The Adventure of the Great Departure. Twenty second November, eight forty three AM. Supreme Court of Judo Catcher, Defendants, and Teacher, Five. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe this is happening. How can it be just beyond the doors to this quiet little chamber? Is this the highest court of Japan? Waiting to decide my fate? Save a clay, murderer. Sorry. My name is Reno Sasuke Naruhalo. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yomei University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now here I am, awaiting my trial. That's enough. He's not obliged to listen to such abuse, officer. Who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lord? Yes, and until judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how, how a court officer should behave. Right, Ryunosuke? Oh, yes, of course! Sorry! What are you apologize to me for? Oh, I... No, I suppose that was... was my fault. Oh, really, Kazuma? I never meant to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> there you go again, apologizing. Just like you always. Ah. Don't must say, you've been all over the newspapers these past few days. Yume University professor murdered in cold blood by a student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? Of course not! You haven't to believe me, I didn't do it! I... I could never murder someone. There's nothing to worry about. Train yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean... I believe you. I know you're innocent, Rinosuke. Kazuma Asochi, my best friend. I saw his second year at Yomei University. But he's far more clever than I. A star student, in fact. He's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. Very constant Loris is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean it much. Yet. He said exactly the same thing three days ago. But I'm proud to have a friend like you, Kazuma. Oh, but well, I'm proud to have you a friend like you, Kazuma, truly. Three days ago? Yes, that's when all this started. Congratulations, Kazuma! It looks like you're going to get to the study abroad at last. I know. I've been forever dreaming of this day. 
finally, those government elites have now acknowledged my academic achievements and success in court. So, you'll be representing Japan as an immerse yourself in the most sophisticated legal system in the world. I'm happy for you and proud of as your friend. She's not a Soma Yurizu who doesn't know Kazuma's name. He's a living legend. It's like there's some mysterious aura billowing around his temple. I want to bring about change in our own legal system. That's why I had to cross the ocean to see the real thing with my own eyes. The heart of the British Empire. I wish we could see it too. Then come with me. We've had a wild time tearing up the streets of Her Majesty's City of London together. If only we're that simple. Oh dear, look at the tower. I'll be better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little while longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high class Western restaurant like this. See you in Lishko class tomorrow, then. Partner. It was straight after that. That's when it happened. So, Jay, may I have a word with you? Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has a personal sickness to me, but never mind for that for now, Soji. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To Incensely's chambers? Why? I was looking for you before. You're advocating for the defense in the trial for a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as a result. Who is this man? I feel as though I've seen him at the university before. I see. I'll go at once then. I shall accompany you. Alright then. Ryonsuke, I'll see you in the courtroom. Yeah. Thanks, Kazuma. Awkward. If I may. Yeah, yes! Sorry! You must be the defendant. Ryosuke Naruhodo, I believe. Yes, yes! That's right! My name is Eugene Mikotoba. I'm a professor of foreign science uh, medicine at Yumei University. Ah! Professor Mikotoba! I've heard that name from the Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma studying abroad. A soldier has told me about you. You and he are best friends. I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Know what? Well, as you've no doubt heard, a soldier has been granted permission to go and study in the Great Britain. However, he should fail to defend you in today's trial. I'm afraid that permission will be revoked and never granted again. But what? <sighs> As I suspected, you were unaware of this. I had a feeling of such you may have chosen not to tell you. He's agreed to defend me knowing that if I fail, his dreams will be shattered? I don't understand. Why would the government do such a thing? And Mr. Chan has chosen from a large number of applicants for overseas study. It's very difficult to persuade them to grant permission, even in the most favorable circumstances. I don't believe it. But I... I didn't do it, I swear it! I'm not a murderer! I'm sure that's true. Nevertheless... I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry? What do you mean? You soon understand once proceedings get underway. But, then what should I do? Well, 
Watch it. I'm not good going to suggest doing anything that could lead to a conviction. Right, so... As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose certain questions to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do! I do? But, what would the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the calculations brought before you? Of course not! Then the court is being about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Ah, it would seem our super entities discussions are to be cut short. Uh, so allow me to summarize. Consumer Sochi was not the defense lawyer in his trial. Of course, as the defendant, the final decision is yours. What are you waiting for? Do you want to be found guilty for failing to appear? Get moving! There's no point in anyone evacuating for the likes of you anyway! This is it. The strike was badly. Because some of the streams are sending abroad are over. It's more. Be found guilty. Of murder. And so. I have absolutely no idea what it may even lie in the head. I embarked on a forgettable trial. My one and only chance of proving my innocence. A trial that would decide my destiny. Twenty second November, nine o'clock AM. Supreme Court of Judah Country. Courtroom number two. So this is a courtroom? The Supreme Court of Jurgatcher. No court in the land has more power. I don't much look like the looks of these people sitting in the public gallery. Lots of military and the other uniforms in there. The Bostack B have demanded that this be a secret trial. A secret trial? Trial that close to ordinary members of the public, only military and government officials may attend. What? But why? It'll be clear in time. But for now, you need to concentrate, Rinosuke. It's about to begin. Court, we're now here. The trial of Rinosuke Norahodo. Prosecution's ready, Your Excellency. As is the fence. Before we begin, uh, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. This evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. No procedures for defendants, the advocate seemed to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for final confirmation. Now, who advocates for the defendant in this trial? This is it. This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do, I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I'm going to say answer I do. Excellency, Excellency, no coverage is needed. As I'm standing here beside the defender, hope it's clear that who I've paid for this. Yes! <laughs> what is the meaning of this unruly outburst? I, I would like to inform the court that. that. I, Rina Skilling, Naruhodo, will be defending myself! You'll be. What? What are you playing at, Rinosuke? Professor Mikoto told me everything just now before the trial. He did what? He said his dreams of setting up Bravo would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. 
since you don't have to pay for me. I think I won't be able to get you off. No, it's not that really. It's just that. Well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... Yes. I know that's how you feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. Professor Tall shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Very well. Court here by Virginia's defendant, desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Because the accuser have been defeated already. Renouncing his young counsel. Really? Objection! Make no mistake, counsel. This merely shows the defendant's innocence and sole parent. He's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruhodo-san? Hmm? Oh! Yes! Exactly! Exactly what I wasn't thinking! I'm not confident at all! Oh. In fact, my mind's a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but still, try not to look so bewildered. Hmm. Well, we are merely university a student to be brought to get before the Supreme Court. You must have a protected and of most heinous crime indeed. But you know where about well blah 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 Excuse me, brother. As you all know doubt the world, it's the Supreme Court of Jordan. Jakatcha of Japan. Accordingly, the very highest standards of conduct are expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, defendant Naruhodo? Yes, Your Excellency. It is therefore my duty to access your competence for a task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? It's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, you can't be questioning it more than I am. So, let's start with the very simplest of questions. Oh, um, yes! Kindly say before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But, wait. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so nervous, I can't even remember that. What was it again? Rinosuke. Let me guess, your mind's gone blank. You know me so well. All the relevant information for this case can be found in your court record. But, but I can't even find that. It's simple. You can access the court record with a press of R. If you ever find your forgettable something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just press R for the court record. All right. There's no doubt. Time to lose. That's the evidence you collected. Much. This is the evidence. This is the list of evidence you've collected. I'll try switching to people and spell with R. Proof that the university is city pin, color pin? That I'm a student at Imperial Yumei University. Let's wear it on the collar of my uniform jacket. You'll find details about the victims in here. When you're done, just press B to go back. Similar Soji, second year, he's my best friend. Been sitting in a qualified defense lawyer as well. Eugene Wei Kotoba, medical school professor at Napier Yuma University. An authority and four oriented business and a Kazuma's mentor. Takahichi Yochi, the lead prosecutor of this case, who would appear to have little love for the changes, the culture, and free formation brought about. John H. Wilson, victim of the case, was visiting. Professor of Medicine at Yuma University from the British Empire. So remember, everything we'll do with the current case can be found in the court record. Now you better not keep his excellency waiting any longer. Go on! Find the victim and the people section on court record, then press X present. Try it now. Yes! The victim's name was Dr. John H. Wilson. 
Huh, huh. Well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson is a visiting professor from England. He invited to the UMA University three years ago. Indeed. Which is the reason why this case has such profound implications? The British Empire is at the present our country's most valuable foreign ally. And as most of you are well aware, we have just signed a new treaty together. After lengthy negotiations, there can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. And yet, despite these delicate differences, the blood of an Englishman has been split on our soil. The two of both undergraduates at the Imperial New Day University are you not? Murdering a professor from the very institution that provides your education. Have you no honor? <sighs> but I didn't do it. The case is coming under great scrutiny from our allies. The other side of the world. The court therefore wishes for speedy resolution to this matter. Hmm. In other words, our free will government is scared of upsetting English policy makers. And your convenient and expendable scapegoat to blame for this crime. So that's why the Shah's these unusual peculiarities, is it? Exactly. Our government needs to convict someone as quickly as possible. All because the victim was an Englishman. Yeah, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time. I better be going. Alright, I'll see you later. I think I'll stay and enjoy this place a little longer. Good idea. After all, it's not every day you get to visit a high-class western restaurant like this. Same English as class tomorrow. Then, partner. British Empire. Wow. It's incredible to think. Wait! I've seen that man at the university. I'm sure he's visiting a professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still, I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table and introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruto. Yes, Your Excellency! How does the Professor of Medicine, Dr. John H. Wilson, lose his life? State before the court the cause of death. The cause of death? Well, obviously, that was, um... Renosuke, remember that in court, every assertion must be backed up by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death. Select present. Do it now. Death occurred a little after 2 p.m. and it was caused by loss of blood from a gunshot to the chest. The bullet did not pass through the victim's body. That's interesting. Why didn't it pass through the body? Yes! Um, well... According to this document, the victim suffered a... And more havoc. Uh, death due to a gunshot trauma. Learn to read, you imbecile. That's the post mortem report I take. Sorry, yes, that's right. The um, post mortem report. In the worst, the doctor decides corpse to identify the cause of death in an autopsy. But here in Japan, a police officer merely inspects the body, draws conclusions that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not getting one to be tested on any of this later. This is so-called photography. Print of the scene of the crime. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole. Produced by the powder explosion. In other words, you should assume that the victim was shot at close range.
Thank you, Council. The Blue Court will accept this modern scientific specifics into the court record. Both are a print of the victim has been into the court record. She was victim. He was shot from the front and the chest and subsequently died. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to the drawing. That is incredible. Very well, I am satisfied with your answers. Well, let's start with the trial. Essentially, Your Excellency. So, without further ado, in order to better appease the court with the facts of this case, Prosecution headed by Kyle's its first witness. You who was there at the scene of the crime, what just happened? Uh, this is it then. Hmm. I think I might have worked out what the professor had in mind. The professor? You mean Dr. Mikotoba? Yes. Clearly you're the defense lawyer today, not me. But that doesn't mean... Well, I can still act as your assistant. Ah! Of course! When he was speaking to me before, he simply said, Kasuma Sochi must not be defense lawyer in this trial. Hmm. He really has been sticking his oar in him, hasn't he? Maybe, but any help you can give me would be greatly appreciated, Kazuma. Well, my first piece of advice is write in that crazy look of the bewilderment and control the cold sweats. I'll only leave Grain in that crazy headband and control the cold stairs first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Witness, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Pius, my name is Sotoro Hosonaga. I'm the head waiter at the Western Stand region called the Carnival. <coughs> Um, are you right? You seem to be coughing up somewhere. Uh, it's a really occurrence. It really does bother me. Well, it, it really, really should. I mean, we had COVID down here. As everyone knows, the capital southeast of Quanta was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, for hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grand crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants. An accidental injury. It was three days ago. Understood. Hosanaga-san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once, sir. And no pity interjections for that spying water boy, please. Oh, um... Perspiring? Maybe? But aspiring? Which is after 2 p.m. on the day in the question. We've only had a few diners at the time of the day. The lunchtime rush was over and there were only three tables to occupy. That fits in my memory of it, too. There was hardly anyone else in the place. <coughs> it was when I was in the kitchen putting away cookery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I heard to go to the dining room to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English ship's bed, slumped in his chair. Standing really beside him, gun in hand, was the QC University student. Yes! Hold on, let me just clarify something here. Well, I did pick up a gun I found lying on the floor beside the professor. I... I didn't shoot him. Attention! I believe I asked you to refrain from pity and interjections. The court wishes to listen to witnesses report of what you saw. You amateur! What? Next time we interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized, defendant Nahogo. Don't worry, you this game. You have your chance to fight it back. Now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. <laughs> if I may confirm one, to point waiter, standing beside the victim with a gun in his hand was the same man we see here in court today. 
Yes. Got a question. I see. And the parts around the cat cues. Was there anyone else there you decided to take them? No. There was no one else around that table but the deceased Grinchman and the university suit. Huh? Wait. What did he just say? There was no one else around that table? What's the matter, Reynoldsky? That's... That's just not right. I never went over to Dr. Wilson's to say hello. There was a woman sitting opposite him at his table. Really? And that's not something that waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting. But still, what should I do? Uh, let's enter to... Please. Dr. Wilson was alone that day. Sure of it. There was a oh. Oh, no. Sure that there was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Objection! Dear me, dear me. What are we going to do with you? With your blood and prescribed for the court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that accused this mere student? He's not really loyal after all. But I'm sure what I saw. What's going on, good son? Is there any chance you've mistaken? Perhaps your memory of this event is hazy. No. See, gentlemen came to the dine alone. I, I don't believe it. Actually, what Ralph's plan of the pressure as it was that day. Please have a look at you if you like to. Let me see. Oh, a sketch of the establishments. Layout so drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right. I prefer to use the back of my business card. It was a triple situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was Cedo alone. Well, you're clearly very consensuous. Waiter. Thank you, sir. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um. Well, is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Uh, 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 of course, here you are. What was that about? It's been completely common and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to be shaking. <coughs> shaking him. <coughs> Way his business card has been entered in the court record. <coughs> the head waiter's business card, a sketch of the restaurant's layout, is on the back. <coughs> so, the court has now heard a piece rice of the case. Yes, at the moment a gunshot was heard in the restaurant, the only person in close proximity to the victim was the defendant on trial today. And what seem we are looking at the black and white case here. Defendant Naruhodo. Yes, Your Excellency? If you will admit your guilt at this stage, the court is willing to look to mercifully upon you. In other words, you may have some small reprieve in terms of your inevitable punishment. I caught this witness as an unsworn witness in order to explain the details of the case to the court. But I must warn the defense if you are determined to pursue matters further in this trial. Prosecution has to say some evidence from, from sworn witness who would present at the scene of the crime. What do you think I should do, Kazuma? What do you mean? Well, we're going to be found guilty one way or another, it seems. Would it be possible, sensible, to plead guilty at the stage and hope for a mere, more lenient sentence? Everyone keeps telling me that this trial is unusual about these peculiarities. You said it, Professor Mikotaba said it 
and so has the judge and the prosecution. I'm I'm scared what lies ahead if I push this. As I said from my outset, I believe you're innocent. I trust you. I get despite knowing that. Really now to draw the trust back in my face? Is that it? What? If the accused is in fact innocent, the defense lawyer is duty bound to prove that innocence by whatever means necessary. Are you just going to abandon that duty? Or are you going to give up on yourself? The battle hasn't even begun yet, Renosuke. Defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. You invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats, bring out its witnesses. Then we'll see who decides if this evidence really is. Indeed. Prosecutor Ochi, please continue with proceedings. Well, you they were warned, this the young could be so reckless. You know, many call me a saint. I can be a devil when I want to be. Uh, in a few short moments from now, that dumb struck you from out of yours will be silenced forever. Prosecutor calls his next witness. Well, well, officer, bring forth the witness at once. Oh. What? Witnesses, kindly state your names and I can change for the court. Yes, sir, the great Napoleon Perry Army Sergeant. Yes, sir, no, sir, reporting for duty, sir. Well, Sheriff, any pleasure, pay value, provide our education, and intricacy for the influences of our nation. Nippon, in a contract my trade from the Russia chair, a humble princess in the second district, Korea Kororikota, at your service. An antique dealer? And a soldier? What an unusual pairing. And both of these gentlemen were present in the restaurant on the day in the question. They must be diners of the other's table that the waiter mentioned? Myself, I have to mention the tea, the most exquisite aroma. The establishment in the question always puts the moon. And not to forget to converse with the interests of parties regarding the cartels, which I must make my business. I can't understand what the old man is saying. He's an antique dealer and sounds like he's a regular at the Cut of Nevada. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Carnaval because it's a high class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Although, to be honest, that section looks more like he's been a seller rather than a buyer. Now you've both witnessed the precise moment of the most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative! The enemy unit was seeking to attack the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. It was a black uniformed your old infantry man over there who had loaded his firearm, sir? This man is impossible to understand as a yeller. I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during the last day, he said. So, this size of the enemy in the prosecution was threatening? Soldiers claiming that he actually saw the precise moment he shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Sir, so, yes, sir. Stand by ready to report, sir. Hmm, I remember these are both acrobatic afternoon. What the witness saw. I was ingesting a regulation of beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. 
Not sure, if I wish to show you in your adventures of a particular fine golden courier in the Mount of Jensen. At the precise moment, the fire was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian. From the back, the cowardly little whistle. Those are my hands and knees investigating the real about my mysterious scholar and precious courier. Well, so you, Sergeant, also actually witnessed the vital moment. I saw those split seconds when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir, affirmative, sir. The wicked of university cadet, sir. Cruel and unforgettable enemy. What times we live in there with an actual gentleman may be a shield in the bright light of day. But this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Winosuke? Yes, all I did was just pick up the gun I was saw lying on the floor. After all I'd said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat there drinking some coffee. Then when I finished, I got out from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English made gun next to the chair where the Professor was sitting. I thought Professor Professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up... Well, that's true. There was obviously a criminal in the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses... ...said someone was a clue to who the criminal was. There is? Minosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. Cross-examine? Do now. As we heard, Your Excellency, there is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It's time to bring this criminal suit to justice. Certainly, the testimony of the court has just heard no limits any procedure of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict of the jury. Yes. What in the name of the Emperor's meaning of this upper? I am, er, I mean, the fence. The fence has a right to cross an examination! Dear me, dear me. Let me guess, the hatchet monkey headband boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he be possibly carry out the cross examination? Objection! The defense is asserting its right to a cross examination. There, whether or not you think he's capable of it, it's irrelevant. Kazuma is so commanding. Very well. Let the defense conduct the cross examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins for Renosuke. But, I don't even know what I had to do in the crossing examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witnesses' statements. How? No. You didn't fire the gun, which means that what the soldiers said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but... It's just the case of proving it. The key to doing this, that, is evidence. Right! Evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and undisputed undisputed evidence that proves that witness is lying. Now let's go, Renosuke. Don't let them beat you. <laughs> Alright then. It's all or nothing. <laughs> what was that? Oh my gosh. You hear the bang from... Because <laughs> 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 What the witnesses saw. I was suggesting a regular beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Yes. Um. 
Why? Why aren't you saying anything? Is this some new integration technique? I hadn't actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Just ask about anything that catches your attention. Anything that bothers you. Alright then. Um. This beast thing you mentioned. What kind of food is that? Chance up! Ah! Beef steak's delicious kettle view! Vigorously cooked on the cast iron a grill, serves piping hot! Oh. If food could receive with Bell's honor, beef steak would be almost as highly decorated as a cutlet! Hey, I see! Um, thank you, sir. So, next question. This cutlet you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Jackson! Ah! Cut this delicious cut of veal tossed in bread comes and deep fried in cooking oil. Accept your guilty verdict, atone for your crimes, and when you're released from prison, try it! Mm. Yes, sir! I was, sir! I was double, sir! Sorry to interrupt, but how about trying to stick to the questions that are relevant to the case? Oops. Sorry. I'll do my best. So, next question. Is this me, or do you keep hearing a sort of wah crying noise? Negative! Well, at least we learned that he's a big beef lover. <laughs> Affirmative. It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. Prime pressure awarded. <laughs> My chef, I was surely in the virtues of a particularly fine girl and career and military judgment. Might as well press everything. Yes! I have no idea what you're talking about. Ah, Kiba, my. A cover, my? You mean an old elder coin? Day prior to the entry, I uh, treasure of our conventional value for the whole period into my position. I took my uh, chef to the restaurant the following day, which said I don't secret it in my potion pocket. In the hope of an influence, the conclusion of praise of its indisputable value have been present. So, you were hoping to sell your carbon coin? To Sergeant Nosa, whom you met at the restaurant? Yes, yes, it's quite clear what you're going with this boy. You're about to assert that opinion the soldier would have no hope of purchasing a precious Koba. Isn't that so? Um, well... You love Sean Cadet! You want to add a disrespect any superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? Platinum! Subordination! No, no, I didn't say anything! Well, don't pay this might be just the word I was looking for. In any case, you're always ready to ask me on that ready notion. Here are my name versus viewers present, and with whom I could engage in discourse about matters of business. Gentleman aside uh, me was groping with his British finger to try, huh? Which was so perfect. I see. Yes! So, you're saying that you actually saw me at that time? Affirmative! I saw you. Laughing, cackling, like a madman as you trained the barrel of your barrel gun on the English civilian. <laughs> but that's impossible. I, I only... Allow me to confirm just one point, please. What's up, brother? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me... That it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over the victim's table. Show what it was! Well, if that really is the case, it would mean that you didn't in fact see the precise moment when the killer actually fired the gun. Ah! Double R! Six cents. Sorry? My sixth sense of danger I picked up the waves of murderous energy raining from your foul mind. Which means 
Listen to me, before you pulled the trigger, I was looking right at you, cadet. Surely that's not possible, is it? Do you think I would have got where I am today in the army if I could sense danger in the air, son? Well... It would seem the soldier is absolutely convinced that he saw you too. Indeed. This is not good. Black uniform for us and they could have fired an English civilian from back of the cavalry, but we saw. I may have need to see you present something. Um, so this black uniform in university cadet, saying that was... Ah! I've had just about enough of your sauce, cadet! Who else do you think always around here in the black uniform, huh? Well, there's someone standing right next to me who fits the description as well, but... It was you, little weasel! You unloaded the firearm on that man! From behind his back, you call yourself a citizen of the Great Empire, Nippon! You disgust me! What is it, Rinosuke? I'm... I'm not quite sure. It's something that the sergeant just said. I can't put my finger on it. Something's playing on my mind. In that case, check back over the details of the evidence you gathered in the court record. And if you find an inconsistency there, but that witness just said, then don't hold back. Present the evidence to the court, trust it in the witness's face, and make him choke on it. Oh, with your other hands and knees, you're first getting the whereabouts of my mysterious astounded precision. Could you? Uh, I thought I did what I was supposed to do here. Listen, Reynolds Gay. I know that there are lies lurking these statements. Something's supposed to. I understand that. <laughs> the question is, how? Like I said before, key to this using the evidence that you've collected. You can examine and present evidence with a wild witness as you touch my part person R. Go through each witness statement and the details about each piece of evidence. Compare all the facts. Somewhere in there, you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. An inconsistency? When you find a statement and a piece of evidence that seems to contradict each other. Present your evidence with X and rip the witness apart! Okay. Just be careful because of your service condition that has no basis. You'll be given a penalty. With dealt too many penalties, Vance's case will be fall apart. And you'll receive a guilty verdict. So that's it. Pursue the evidence in the court record. And find an inconsistency with a witness's statement. Alright, I'll give it a try. You can hear the witnesses' statements over and over again, as many times as you like. So keep your head and be measured in your attack. Good luck, partner. something right now because my throat's gonna be going but ah if only poetry and wolf were here I think they would have been laughing at how I'm actually doing the voices though what why are you playing like that what is the meaning of this subordination trust you someone prototype graphic printed my mustache and inconsistency sir I mean yes there's clear inconsistency here. I still can't make that noise up. 
Ah! I need to work out. <laughs> Man, boy, you know how easy it is for me to actually make a freaking bow boom? I don't need to need to put that much force in my palms. I feel sorry for Reno's good right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. All I have to do is just go there. That's it. I didn't even put that much pressure. But him, he's like, like what? <laughs> oh my gosh! And it's wood, guys. It's wood. And it sounds like he's hitting his skin when he does the the slam. Like I'm like, this is my knees. I'm not hitting that hard. If I did like hard here, there we go. And this is what. Yeah, you can know the difference. And that's how we hit it. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so bad. Uh, we're gonna wash my face, guys, and I'm tearing up big time. Oh, be right back. That was way too funny, y'all. That was still way too funny. Ah. Ah. So, which one was here? <sighs> what nonsense. What can this pretty much like tell us what we don't already know? Well, obviously, that, um, I don't want to say, words just won't come out of my mouth. Hmm, things prove beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an aperture strip here in this grand quarter room. Ah, uh, it's so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. Couldn't be more plain. Just fill it up without being an insult to the court. Kazuma? What? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the Anthem Defense. That there's a clear dispensary here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Ilya Sanosa? Yes, sir! What's up? Statement of you just made was this. The 
black uniform bus that fired in on the English civilian. In the back. That cowardly little loser. Yes, sir, forever, sir! Oh, this is gonna grab with my own military great eye, sir! Yes! But no, that could just be. Now why not, cadet? Because. Because. Because! Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet to the chest. Ah! Sergeant, according to witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that was the obvious dispenser. Yeah. Well, how do you explain that? What the? What was that? Something just popped out from behind his back when he pushed it back down again. Certainly, there is a clear dispensary with the voucher. Would you come out to agree, Sergeant Osa? Yes, sir, at this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I heard the fire alarm stretch my eyes were. Perfect some delicious La Carnival New Hall steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard was proof what they'd be on a reasonable doubt. With the Sergeant Lee and Lisa Nosa. Did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Uh, that's that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Cut. Yeah! Because it's CC here awarded. There's been. A complete turnabout in this mood of this trial. Just from that one discrepancy. Huh? So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. <laughs> but I definitely saw him! That here is a cadet there! He was pointing the fire up directly at the victim's back! Yes! But I never fired the gun! All I do is pick it up from the floor! You old man, didn't see the bullet of the victim until it shot air. No, sir, but I've already been quite clear. Gun charge is true, me now. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Treasure? Henry, the hurry around common. My price coin! On each occasion when I visit that restaurant, and it's my opportunity to punch in my marshal pocket, I must get a trinket of interest from my shop. Rashute! I the hopes of meeting a rich diner whom I like to buy hits from you, huh? Oh, no, I on the screen, it was a military man that performs from my Hawaii treasure. I believe that he will purchase such a rare find. I did not, but I presented it with a little alternative. And then, after averting my eyes from the brass face in a moment, it was there no more. Simply vanished. The couple vanished? Hunching around the table, oh, in case of mayhem, they have fallen her. Did it happen? You heard the gunshot, you mean? And they die! I hit it not for our unconcerned only foot fighting I have shown and oh in treasure. Now they gonna distract me Out of entrance Oh Did you find the coin in the end? No Hmm I see that limited bold day, that precious Howard Coburn was lost to me. 
No doubt some unscrupulous scrounger pocketed the price coin for himself. Uh, as I'm sure everyone present is aware, the case of badge is swift and decisive for solution. Our government has promised to attend a full report to the Great Britain by the Telegraph this afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how absurd our government feels, it must be to the British. It would be unforgettable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position? Prosecutor Archie. Oh, <laughs> Marty not, Your Excellency. Defender may have fired a tiger at the front gate, but you'll find a wolf at the back. What? Why would this have further testimony to make? Explain. Upon hearing the statements, it will soon become abundantly clear. That there is one only one person that could possibly have committed this despicable crime. At the equally despicable defender, Rianosuke Naruhado. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Oh. Very well, the court invites the witnesses to testify again. We will thoroughly explain the reasoning. Behind the, the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? Yes, clear, yes, clear, 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 yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir, I was, sir. I'm waiting signal to display, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder. I think. Permanent, the newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name? I know. I think the straps are assigned to Sergeant with two straps to afford an added. I know! Chan Shrub! If I was about to quill the enemy! Watch and learn, my boy! The true culprit. Even in what I saw was a precise moment the fire was discharged, it's always the same thing! Yeah, as the poison is kind of defer in the back if you watch. I got no ad in the back. I was much on the best I could do, see. Furthermore, visual search of the premises at this time confirmed that we were the only person in the prison. Yeah, there he was. I don't know about himself. Therefore, no one else in the back uniform cadet could have dispatched the man over and out. Those are such lame. Come tell us. Yes. Wait, that's that's nonsense. Victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these Osbarts that's already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at this table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! You call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the courts and speak accordingly. You are not here to listen to your fantasies. Uh, it is evident, beyond all reasonable doubt, that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. This prosecution has photographic evidence about this fact. Is the photographic print of the scene of the crime, Counsel? Indeed, off the table on which the victim was dining, taken by the investigator, immediately after the end of the incident. That's plain to be seen, it's only one place yet. Based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Ah, does not make any sense. The court will now add new photographic evidence to the record. A bottle of carbonated water and a steak lunch can be seen on the victim's table. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's not possible that nobody else saw that woman. That waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I... I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him.
will soon that we'll be able to telegraph reports of Great Britain on time after all. What is this morning's we'll have to just heard? Leave no over a room for dumb. These are very sensible political times, as we know. The ink is still fresh on the street with Great Britain. Do you think that I talk out to you? Oh jeez, we don't have to attribute to the amity of these two great empires as an honor. How can this be happening? Just is ready to rule. Sam Tom we're in this game. It's not over yet. What? But you say it's true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. Draw out the truth and your cross examination. I I don't know, Kasuma. The fence is tell we cross examine the witnesses. But make it quick. Understood? Rules can be so unbending all of our times. Ugh. I'm on it, guys. I'm eating out of Ashley's house right now. Like I said, my throat. <laughs> I think my throat's gonna get killed tomorrow. Oh my gosh. True culprit. Even what I saw was in the precise moment of fire on charge. It's almost the same thing. Yes. No, 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 no. It's not the same thing at all. First start. I didn't fire that gun. We have a different opinion on that. Opinion of the uniformed officer for style of a fledging cadet. Um, I don't think so. Considering this defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see him? Did you see him blink? How could I? And yet, it's only a fact that I blinked! Something he had. Uh, half what? Jansen! Sound fire rang in my ears in the very next moment. I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman! I think that saw says at all, don't you? Uh, let us not forget that antiques dealer with this that accused in the most discriminating position as well. And that's so, Kuriko Tansan. Yes, when you join the format, you would have a young lion back and much I special. Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding a gun at that point in time. But I told you already, that's only because I picked it up from the floor. Well, obviously he has the cover. That's the only way you could explain it, way. I just finished drinking my coffee and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed the gun on the floor with Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. Exactly that moment. A gunshot rang in my ears. Well, my van should be out of control, Blackfish. Sorry? What did you mean? In your case, your final pressure on the floor. You patched it up. It's probably pressure and paid it. That's the credit I commence. Where is that conversion, eh? I've had to pick up the floor in front of the floor. I can find myself in a grilly test and try to get an intelligent result. Anyway, the fact I remains, mess of my dead cheek here. 
My picture and hand is standing over the foreigner. How am I standing over the corner? Furthermore, for your visual search and purposes at the time, firm that we were the only person on present. Yes! You must have done someone else at Dr. Whistle's table. It was Lady there. Objection! That just may have been a pain to the point of the time again. I feel I'm growing all callous in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a, a glimpse of this woman. Ugh. If only there have been more people dining here at the time. If someone else would have noticed her. Fortunately, it was already past two when it happened. Quiet time between lunch and dinner in my new restaurant. I know. Of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at all that time of day. Why he was alone? Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Counsel? It's a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at the clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hotel clinic. Yes, sir, it was deemed to appear to be a trade to the date in question. The 19th of November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm. The very day of the event. So the victim went for a light lunch while in his appointment. No explanation, and couldn't be more simple. Press could you feel? No. Need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. I wonder. What do you think, Reynolds Gate? Hmm? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember. Remember, you can request support to be entered in the courtroom. Court record as evidence if you think it would be useful. As for Dr. Wilson, is this record card to be submitted as evidence? Ah, uh, as for. Let's do it. Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for the medical report card to the somebody's evidence of On what grounds? Um... The court has already heard conclusive. I witnessed this morning. Additional evidence will be the training Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are no concern. Objection! Whether or not they are concerned is up to us to decide. We have right to explore all possible avenues. I, I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse per perfectly valid request of the submission of evidence. I will. The court will grant your defense's request. Check. These days are forever asserting their rights. It's almost a servant trait. Sir, how do you add the victim's medical report card to the court record? Report card from Hoda Clinic. Now it's found in the victim's pocket. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. You can inspire to prolong this trial as much as you like. It's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you've forgotten. That these witnesses tell me have no room for doubt. Free to reiterate for the cues. Critical to the And there are our viewers doing much fun during the action. Therefore, no one will earn another ring going to unconnect. That's fine. Over and out. Yes! So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dying alone? Ah, right there! Forgive me for the punch shot, punch you. Shall the trespassers, the old man, the soldiers, and the waiter all agree on that point? Isn't that interesting? And let us not forget, they're also incontestable. 
efforts we have to support these statements as well. As could it be seen, there is only a single beast that can the victim's take. Me for one. No. Patrick Steeler, the sergeant at the wake, which is what before. It's not possible that they are all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Therefore, no other than a black card foreign cadet could have some special English man. We're an out. Yes! Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I can't remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's not possible. Fortunately for you, Defender Lara Holo, it's not just the case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? Waiter! Who says more than the court heard earlier? Clearly said that said that. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. Precisely, in other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I. Such a woman will already need president. See, the prosecution demands to see proof. If no such proof exists. Prosecution demands that no further attention on this phantom woman be made. It is a blunt and waits until your court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. <laughs> uh. Excellent, we're all safe. Glean some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like they change as much. I can't see if it brings any disrespects to life. I won't be sure sure. Did you see that medical report I forgot before? Oh, you mean this? Yes, uh, this brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little bit more detail. How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the only ones you may examine. Per se, and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use our stick. To rotate the ev evidence in all directions, examine from all angles. By using left stick, You can move the crosshairs around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. If the crosshairs start to pulse it, press A to investigate from. So, partner, I think you should take a close look at this medical report. See if there's anything, something new to be learned by examining in more detail. Alright, let's see what I can do. Indeed, I need to use the left and right stack, right to A, and let's make any other areas of the notes that look suspicious. Dentist. Looks like this medical report card was first issued quite some time ago. It's probably for regular long-term treatment, that's why. With a family doctor, I imagine. Well, I can't imagine going to a doctor, I mean, as long as I'm alive and they're consulting all one. Well, if you were dead, there'd be no point. So a lot of doctors then. Why would you? They would make you drink horrific, tasty medicine. They give you painful injections. And then they demand lots of money from you for the privilege. 
hell when you're at your lowest ebb. Sound like a model patient. The bad case of stubbornness, no less, but which the only choice for is very bitter mess indeed. It says hold a clinic on the medical report card. I hate clinics almost as much as I hate hospitals and surgeries. Aren't all they all the same? When I was five, I caught only the cold I ever had in my life. I remember, even though I felt awful hard, I had to have these hideous injections in my arm, right arm. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Never in my whole life. Most people would give the right arm to have that only one cold in their whole life. Anyway, I don't think this is the clinic where they treat people for illness like that. It's a good thing, because you don't want to miss anything. Healthy Curiosity Award. This thing right here. Let's have a look. It's some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had two to put out? So, so just before the incident, he had a bad tooth wound. People used laughing gas. That's the most smaller for practicing West for pain food. Yeah, I've heard of this ana anesthesia. Anesthesia? Well, it's hard to believe that there's anything that can actually stop you from pain. Oh, there's a cautionary note from a medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours. Post procedure until anesthesia effects have passed. Really? So I can form an information worth bearing in mind. Medical reports information has been updated in the courtroom. Record. Record of dental work on the day of the murder. The victim had undergo dental treatment had been prevented from eating or drinking anything but water. What is new information? Mainly one particular statement totally changes. So I think it's time we'd listen to this one again, don't you? Definitely! This part. Uh... Hopefully this works, guys. Yes. Oh, we got it. Um, er, well, I think um. Where we Call your chef, Larry. I wish I could. But first and foremost, here, I'm the accused. You know, Skay, if one stumbles on their words occasionally under circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I can see clearly in the cross animation you just carried out. Just when you raise your hand straight up like that, so purposely. That's exactly what it was that you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you were thinking. Alright. And thanks for the advice. <sighs> Kori Kochi-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I sure and I uh, don't you. Well, boy. Comparing what is written on the report card with your witness statement? Something clear it doesn't have. Dear me, dear me, have you forgotten my board so soon, you amateur? Sorry? What? You're not to turn, turn off the court proceedings with your amateurish travel. But? Let's 
Let's see if I can explain it words to you, man. Understand? If I was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered in the restaurant, whatever he may or not have been done before that time, it's completely irrelevant. But, but that's, um... Remember, Reynolds Gay, you don't have to be used clever in language or fancy words. Just to make your point. Next and see, I believe we're finished here. There's surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. The medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale faced pupil who could possibly have. This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? You that outburst have petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Relevant. Perhaps because Holy Clinic, which issued a report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that also mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you the victim had just a tooth to get extracted. Ah, uh, what's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result, the victim has been forbidden from leaving. Just. Just what are you trying to say, Cadet? You had orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up here. No food or drink other than water for three hours. Post procedure while Anastasia wears off. What? No. That. That can't. Put it close, son. Where, boy? Where? 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 Asking the sister's heard. When he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., victims couldn't have been eating anything at all. Yeah! Additionally, Ishmar! Yeah, was sure the court without unwaving self confidence. The victim was dying alone. But that can't possibly be the case. Yeah! Because the victim, as we know, just had one of his teeth extracted, and Jim was still experiencing the effects of the very stick. Oh! That's really dumb, partner. Attention! What? What is this nonsense, you little upstart? These are basic accusation. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very dispensary we're talking about. Can't you follow the logic? Huh? How dare you? I think it's far to say that the tables in the restaurant are a case out of turn. Wouldn't you agree? We know it's gay. Hmm? Yes! Most definitely! So, just uh, undergoing some dental surgery. Victor was unable to eat. Which leaves the one very crucial column job. Who in the fact was eating the picture beef stick? The court would hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. Assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, that that means me, doesn't it? Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your turning this trial around. Show them what you made of. You got it. So, um, the person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been. As an idiot, on no dirt party. Oh, finally! Obviously, it could only be have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. Attention! You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person! Yes! It was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim could have been eating anything. Yet, we have some evidence of a happy eating steak on his table. Therefore, the logical conclusion is that there was someone else there eating. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. 
It's clear that these witnesses' testimonies are unbelievable. If the court decides to push things through a ruling at the stage, we will lodge a formal complaint to the Ministry of Justice. Pursue a fair retreat. Relentlessly. Kazuma! Are you insane? You. You would take down the government? Don't worry, Council. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them! Those two witnesses in the stand! What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out the two of you are deliberately lying when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit at murder? No! Oh! Negative! There! There's not much of this is a tactical meeting! I was following orders! That's right! Smash Ash! Saying you never saw the judgment one! That's what they sure told us! Oh. What? What did you just say, Kodakon and Son? Er, uh, er, uh, no! You were just following orders? Now hold on, lad. I was trying to say you never saw the gentlewoman. <laughs> when you say gentlewoman, do you mean you saw the victim with a lady from the overseas? What? Attention! What, what, what is the meaning of all this? These witnesses just gave false statements. It's true, you pair. Just fine. Just one simple. Sip of the tongue. Order! Order! Council! Explain what is going on here. It's definitely clear now. You try to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not. Patrick should know nothing of this. Then who's behind this? You try to make you keep your mouth shut. Yeah, um, uh, uh. That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as conspirator to this murder, are you? You! You wouldn't! This can't be happening! You know, Skay? Just from the very way that they reacted to this, I'd say there were sworn signs by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Uichi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It can only happen to the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas about who might be behind this? I can confirm we tried to silence these witnesses and continue our pursuit. So, we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witness keep their mouth shut. Of course, we need the evidence before we can make any firm accusations. If it is not proof with whoever it was with the wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly? Remember how we made progress before? Before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh, yes, that's right! Well, that's not only a little bit of proof piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to examine everything and make sure there's nothing we missed. There's no time to lose. I want to try and charge! Let's prove it up. Are these witnesses have with them? Let me lay. Show you if the penalty will be severe. Please! Wait! Your Excellency! I have no idea what about any of this. I swear to every gentle god. I knew nothing! What does the very fence have to say about all this? Mm -hmm. uh, well, Your Excellency! Uh, no time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes to my head. <sighs> He's 
Besides the prosecution, the only person with the publicity reports may have been the witnesses is. Eugene Mikotoba. That's the only thing I could think of, guys. Yes. There. What do you make of that? I think also that you may want to close your ears as well as your eyes. Otherwise, signs of disappointment and cover may be able to open you. Ah! If you feel you must close your eyes at crisis, my doctor says you keep your mouth shut next time, too. Otherwise, I may have to use the influence I have in this courtroom to shut it. Permanently! Ouch. Don't know what it is about that prosecution is that. It really makes me wince and pain sometimes. I don't have a great deal of influence myself, but believe me, I can't find other ways to make you keep your mouth shut as well. I'm afraid, don't get angry. I'll be again. There must be a clue. There must be a clue somewhere in all the events in the courtroom. Actually, now that I think about it, there might be some piece of evidence I haven't thoroughly examined yet. What is the evidence? Is that about the Hmm? I can move. Maybe it's him. Yes. Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonaga-san. Hosonaga-san, where did we took those stars earlier? Attention! Papika! What was the reason with the waiter had to make even this is gave? False this morning. Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not also have the level of influence. For once, I agree with you. If that is the man truly were a waiter, what? If you truly were, come on, real Time to hit this court with the truth. Truth about Sotero's real identity, as proven by this evidence. This plan of restaurant raises in a number of questions, I think. Definitely! It's supposed to show the relative position of everything. The moment's following the incident. There's nothing showing the woman you say you saw there. Exactly, that's not all. Look here in the upper left, where it says kitchen. Hmm? Oh yes, what of it? No one would use the complicated characters to write kitchen, especially not if they're in a hurry. You really don't remember those characters yourself? Don't you? Study harder, Reynolds game. Oh, I'm just gonna say that something. Chief Inspector Satoru Hosanagi, Private Crime Investigation Division, Para Police Bureau. Ah. Well, that's unexpected. What is it? Look, do you see it says witness name here? Satoru Hosonaga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show people's names. Sort of point. It's not the name that's unexpected, it's his job title. His job? Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga. Primary Criminal Investigation Division. Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. Well, let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence. Are we willing to get somewhere here? here? Witty's business card has been, information has been updated on the court record. Yes! Plan on the original was sketched by the man in question. I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can collude any- Sorry, Alexency, that's the back of the car. It's the back 
Oh, the back of the car that's over the entrance. Uh, I beg your pardon? Or our price, I would say, the front? Yes! It's the front of the, of the back of the car. That's where the detailing detail is. Somebody please explain what these are really children is trying to say. What should I get some sketch the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card? The front of the business card reveals the man in the question's profession. His true profession. We did profession, but that surely good. Good gracious! That's right here, Excellency. Card reads Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? If I have heard any mention of this before, why haven't I heard any mention of this before? Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absolute power, as far as a regular civilians are concerned. So, witness, this is there in the stand. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you the orders? Or was it he told you not to mention that you've seen this foreign gentleman at the scene? Uh, well... Inspector Osanaga? I was worried something about this way happened. What you asked me to spend my scotch as a spendence. There's a possibility. Court would take the client and hide the boardroom record as evidence. Oh, um, well. Your problem? I had to plan to the court officer at once. Uh, of course. Here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand the resistance card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusual as careless mistake. So, do you mean to say you really are a detective? Well, why would a detective be working as a restaurant with me then? Ah, of course! You said I must be terrible. I'm working on the cover. On the cover? Yes, there was been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. Lord Chibuske, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working for the cook. Incidents at a restaurant. What kind of incidents? That will be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are an unrelated to the case of homicide. Mm. Very well then, Inspector Hatsunaga. But you will elaborate on the one point from the court. Of course, it excellency. me. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the witness table. If that is indeed true, Clooney would also have been aware of the person's presence. And served at the table in question. However, the testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity, as a police officer, you will require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would you be correct? Correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! As I suspected. As I as soon as I heard the gunshot, ran down to the kitchen to see what had happened. Victor sat slumped in his chair, beside him, gun in hand, so the accused stooped. Fearing opposite to be a victim at the time, was a gun lady from my guest to be an Englishwoman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the Russian and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some 
Special orders. Special orders? You mean to say... Move the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in your own best decision not to pursue that idea. Your power's views are friendly in terms of the relationship. Written more highly than anything at the moment. English man has been murdered on my soil. Name an English woman as the pilot suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason we repress the spirits of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. Possibly does fire to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Kibay University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. I'm fairly certain that one of them is studying in medical faculties research laboratory. It's a young English woman. What? You're sure of that? I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean, when I removed that woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it you to check her identity first. Now the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university of the professor's table was a certain Miss Jessica Brent. She's indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory at the University of Medical with that. What? What is the meaning of. Yeah! I admit that I'm your orders when the police bring me I erased all the things of the lady person at the scene. In order these witnesses to make no mention of her and the disciplines. It must now be up to your exit to decide how to deal with the situation. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as false. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been overturned. By a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, repeat the decision of your justice to draw truth and give ruling at this point. Objection! Belated Excellency! You will be missing the new deadline of ruling in the order send a telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very pleased by such actions. Tell Mr. Council, do not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Inspector uh. Hosanaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this just uh, Brent and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. I have gone to your excellency. But, that means. Going against the special orders you were given by the police bureau. I said before, it is my building principle to carry out all the decisions. Fogs. So it won't be a problem? <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. Hold would we John Briflair. Our special must call the English just to Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Your excellency Good. Well, I'll have a dirty minute recess before we convene. To be continued. My throat, y'all. My derp. Yeah. Oh, my God.
Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. Even though I I'm gonna rest right there because my derp guys, I think my throat is definitely gonna need a break, y'all. But why derp man? This is gonna be a long one. And we're just not even there yet. We're probably already got Renosuke off the hook for a bit right now. And we're gonna find out what is going on and why the police decide to, you know, hide this little girl right there from us. So yeah. Thank you guys for joining me here. See you guys next time as we go to the second part of the adventure of the Great Departure. Part two of the episode one. Yeah, hopefully that when Paul Jor or Wolf actually come, they can actually go. Don't mark. What the hell? Hmm. I was really hoping Paul Jor. I think Paul Jor would have been laughing at my voice right there. So anyway, y'all. Have a good night, y'all. Be safe. Because honestly, I would have come here yesterday earlier if there was no traffic. We had a crash. Be safe, y'all, and be wary. Bye.